channel. My name is Stephanie, and today we are back with another Dun Dun Mukbang! So today is going to be a little bit different because I got the whole family here. My fiance's here, my sister's here as a judge, Sophie's running around somewhere because she learned how to walk and now she shows off nonstop. So today the Sue family is here and joined for a debate. Let me tell you, today's video is sponsored by Hot Topic. Let me tell you how this idea came about, okay? We just started debating one night and it became so heated. We were about to fight. We were about to throw hands. We were about to throw punches at each other. And so why not put it on video for the police to later investigate? Something might go down. But in order to make it more suspenseful, put some money on the line, I have decided to prepare some gifts. So we're gonna split up into teams of two. So me and Tiffany are gonna be a team. Dan Dan and Andrew are gonna be a team. We're debating hot topics and the winner gets Hot Topic. If you guys know Hot Topic, it's like one of those one-stop destinations for anything that is pop culture related, music related. It's pretty much a one-stop shop. And on top of that, I love the fact that like everything is so trendy. Everything is on point. Like, look at this. I specifically picked this for me. So I feel like either me or Tiffany are gonna get this. It's a BT21 skirt. And then another one we have is another BT21 oh, that's top. Cute. They have so many different styles. So if you guys are shopping for gifts for like, maybe it's your whole family, maybe you're looking for gifts for yourself. My mom saw this and said Andrew could wear this at home. <laughs> because, okay, have you seen him lounge around at home? So this is a BT21 and they're all sleeping. They're like little sheep sleeping. They always have so many collabs. Like, look at this one. A Star Wars. I know you guys like Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have another BT21 crew neck. Look at this back. Oh. It says Jelly Candy 7 Flavors BT21. This I one's like so it. cute. I love the purple color on that. And then, okay, are you guys getting a trend? I really like BT21 right now. This is what I'm obsessed with. Look at this color box sweatshirt. This little hoodie. And then on the back, it has all of them. Mm. Ah! Mm. That is so cute. <laughs> Last but not least. A hot Cheeto slip scrub. Because Hot Topic literally has everything. Like you can get the BT21, but you can also get like Hot Cheeto slip scrubs. Every time one of us wins a debate, we're gonna pick from this pile of goodies. These are the prizes. So if you're good at debating the Hot Topics, you're gonna get the Hot Topic. You guys can shop in store or go to hottopic.com to shop online and you can even literally buy it online and pick it up in stores. If you don't wanna wait, you can get it in an hour. You can get it that night if you guys are urgent. And if you guys are interested, make sure to click the link in my description to check out Hot Topic. They have so many fun things that I literally could not even include in this video. They have like Disney stuff. They have literally anything that you can think of. They even have stuff for Sophie that I'm buying, like little backpacks and like mini little sweatshirts. So freaking cute. Thank you Hot Topic for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. The winner of the Hot Topic gets Hot Topic and then the loser has to eat this and apparently everybody freaking dies from this. I mean it's death. There is no, there's no coming back from something like this. So my fiance is going to be the judge and he's got the debate questions. So why don't you give us the first question and we'll ponder while we eat a piece of fried chicken. I just want to eat some fried chicken. I'm going to go for a mild one. <laughs> Oh, definitely. <laughs> I'm going to take the little spicy Look one. Look at this. It's like a whole wing. Oh, oh. Wow. Okay. These okay, are... so do we need a practice run or we should just Yeah, maybe it? we should practice. Like, give us a random debate question. Do you guys think the guys are going to win or the girls on this one? Honestly? Us. <laughs> okay. 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 Wow. Mm -hmm. One of the judges has left to use the restroom because she's pregnant, so she's been <laughs> using the restroom. I want to say like every 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, the first question. A building is on fire. Would you save a sibling or four strangers? Mm. You know mm. what? No. Let's start with a practice question. Opa, I don't think we've asked you this. Okay. A building is on fire. There is a cat or the Mona Lisa. You can only save one. Oh. The cat or the Mona Lisa? <laughs> a live cat. The cat is alive and it's a cute cat. Good thing I'm a dog person. What? Oh! Okay, he said, I'm coming home with a Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what if you can't sell the Mona Lisa? You can't sell it? You can oh, no, no. You, that's too many restrictions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just a cat or a Mona Lisa. Like the actual so, Mona Lisa? Yes. So Absolutely. basically, basically money or the cat. No, a cat or a Mona Lisa, then that. But is I'm it thinking more along what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm a sell that painting. dollar bills. How much is but the Mona Lisa? It doesn't matter. You're you're basically letting a cat die. See, I don't want y'all to judge me. <laughs> no, be honest. Be honest. 
See, that's the thing, right? We're gonna debate. I'm gonna be honest. The debate is not about being honest. It's about making a point. logical, right? You don't know which side you're on. You don't get to choose, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. you're not saying your opinion. Let's debate this as practice round, right? Okay. So I'll rock paper scissors shoot, and then we get to pick a side, okay? Rock paper scissors shoot. Yeah. Okay, Let's which go. side do you want? Mona Lisa. So you guys have to argue why you would save the Mona uh -huh. Lisa in a way that makes the audience be like, "Wow, that makes sense." Yes. Dennis, start first. Mona Lisa, right? I don't know how much it costs. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's like in the millions, right? I'm uh -huh. thinking millions. Hey, you're trying to convince me. You're not asking. Right. It's, uh, so it's costing like a couple million, right? Couple, couple million. Couple million. I'm prices. thinking like hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, one. Okay. <laughs> He's like, the, wait a minute. That's a lot of money. <laughs> letting the cat die is very cruel. Did you just hear yourself? Letting the cat die. You don't sound. However. Like however. I mean, hundreds of million. I would donate to charity. <laughs> I will fix that building. <laughs> what building? The on loop? fire, on fire. The loop, okay. Yeah, and then I'll buy another, I'll buy tons of cats, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You will rescue tons of cats. Exactly. And I will actually build a shelter. For the where, cats. For the, the cats. Good point. Thank you. Counter argument? The value of the Mona Lisa. There's so many pictures of the Mona Lisa. It's, there's so many art studies done on the Mona Lisa. It is the most well-known painting in the world, right? Right. <laughs> and it's sure, it's a piece of history, but it's history. The cat is in the present. It's alive now. The Mona Lisa is so costly and it's this crazy thing because we make it that. But a cat is alive regardless. So what's your argument? So you gotta save the cat. Why? It's alive. Just because it's alive. Yes. yes. And that cat can suddenly be the hope for humanity. Oh. It's starting a movement. Okay. It's about starting. I have a, another uh, No, hold up. Thing. It's about starting a movement because you would think that most people would save the Mona Lisa, but the Mona Lisa means nothing unless we put the importance on it. But people already put the importance on Mona Lisa. <laughs> oh, you just moved the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we are the ones that put the importance on the Mona Lisa. So there but, are importance on Mona Lisa right now. Yes, but if we save the cat, I mean, that just shows that at the end of the day, mm -hmm. human Humans are good and capable of not putting greed and money in our own little egotistical, artistic, cultural uh, first. But people already put that kind of thing on yeah. Mona Lisa, not the cat. What do you mean? So I'm not being yeah. convinced right now. Me either. Yeah, please, <laughs> Tiffany? <laughs> Wait, hold on, I have a counter argument. Okay, okay. counter argument. You said cat, right? I believe all humans are already greedy and evil, I mean, in some ways. <gasps> Wait, what? I'm wow. not greedy, so you're out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, we're not perfect humans, like everyone in the world. And what is that one cat gonna do for, for humanity? It's save your emotion. You're gonna be, like, very sad for your yeah. entire life. Okay, saving the cat, you could start a movement. You could start what something. Movement? Tell me. <laughs> Well, oh, you guys are so easy. Like, you guys got the better end of the stick. It's a lot! Bro, but with the 100 million, you can still make a movement. Who told you you can sell the paint? He just said. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can sell the paint. Too. Okay, let me really get down into the dirtiness of this, okay? Think about it. You're in front of the Mona Lisa, and this cat is meow right in front of you. You're really gonna save the freaking Mona Lisa? Absolutely. She's not even smiling. Mona Lisa's You're calling me. It's part of history. Okay, okay. Yes, it's a part yes, of history, sir. but the cat is in the now. The cat is alive now. Okay. Without history? <laughs> I would argue if it was a historical artifact that nobody had seen before that was going to change the world in some way, shape, or form or bring light to something that happened in history that we are not, you know, well versed in. But the Mona Lisa, she overplayed. She overdone. She everywhere. But this cat has been nowhere but the Louvre for some reason. Why are you in the Louvre? Tiffany? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough for the practice. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. All right. So let's start with question number one. Uh -huh. A building is on fire. Would you save a sibling or four strangers? Wow. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> four strangers or one sibling? Who? Do you, which side do you Sibling. Choose? Okay. So we go with strangers. Okay. <laughs> go and our siblings are the judges right now. <laughs> Literally my sister. Who strangers. wants to start? They they can go first. We no, you won, guys we won. start. You guys start. The winner starts because you chose that start. one. Yeah. You got anything? Well, I'll start with the reason I'm gonna save the sibling is because that's my flesh and blood. 
Mm-hmm. I know them. Obviously, I don't, you know, I wouldn't mm-hmm. wish hurt or, or sacrifice upon anybody else. But yeah. if you're going to force me to choose, mm-hmm. I got to save my flesh and blood. Mm-hmm. No, no, you got to convince me. Why do I have to save my siblings? You should. Because, mm-hmm. listen, I'm not justifying that killing those four strangers, <laughs> letting the four strangers die is not good. I mean, any good. But listen, hear me out. He said it's great. Do those four strangers truly care about you? Like, they don't even know who you are. And so, the one that lived with you for your entire life, mm-hmm. that knows you and who, like, you know, you should save them. I'm not fully convinced. <laughs> oh, okay. Why? <laughs> I mean, I just don't the logic. I would approach it a different way. Okay, counter argument. Okay, my counter argument is... It's still one life versus four. I love you so much, Only I don't, I'm not saying that this is the decision that I would have chosen, okay? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of energy right here. <laughs> right, right here. Lots of energy. You know what? Okay. My argument is... You guys my are so argument bad. Is, I know. It's harder than I thought. You guys are maybe, so bad. Maybe four stranger basically is four lives. Yes, versus okay? one. That's first point. The second point, that four strangers can be four families. But and that's a oh, big that's family. Good. Yeah, that's, that's a huge. Big people. That's a lot of kids. Okay, whereas your sibling, your sibling has no kids. Let him die. <laughs> he got life insurance. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's See, Andrew's mom. getting convinced. Wouldn't you want a stranger to save you? Because you have Sophie. Family. But you know, what if the stranger is like, man, forget this, dad. Stephanie's going down the emotional route, which is weird. <laughs> yeah. You gotta spit back. Oh, okay. Chances are, four people have more impact on the world than one person does. Uh, no. He's a... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Um, when you go to sleep at night, you can't live with yourself if you let... I mean, even if... Mm-hmm. No, you, hold on now. Don't you think so? No matter what you choose, you won't be able to live with yourself. Oh! I disagree. Okay, let's Hold on, let him talk me this because I argument. <laughs> I think it'd be 10 okay. times worse if I had a choice and I let my sibling die and I've known them my entire life. Whereas, mm-hmm. I hate to say it, but these four strangers, I have zero connection with. That's also, so, that's a good argument. Also, that, that'll probably eat me up for the rest of my life. But what if, what if it's a situation? Mm-hmm. Because my sister is such a good person. I feel like my sister would have wanted me to save more lives. Like, she's the type that, like, she doesn't say it, but I know if she was in the fire and I wasn't in the fire, she would save the four people and yeah, sacrifice me herself. Yeah, too. I would do that, yeah. too. What if I fair. know that's what she would have wanted? <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? But I, I, I think yes. those four people can uh, somehow have better chance of getting out of the building than the one person. Okay. You got anything to counter-argue that one? <laughs> <laughs> Your sibling is smart. Yeah, what if your sibling's really smart? Do you think your sibling's smart? My sibling's not smart. <laughs> what if it's easier? Like, let's say I saved the four people because the fire just started. At the point where the fire, the fighters come, you know, it's easier to save one person versus four. You know, the firefighters can come in and all That's of them good. can just save one person. That's so good. Right? Who said anything about a fire? Bruh. It's, it's in a building. Buildings on fire. Oh. Buildings on the fire. firefighter is easier to save, save one person, person than four. Oh, four. that's a good one. Yeah. Finally, someone's like thinking. <laughs> See? Is that it? That's he said. That's it. That's the counter argument. Hold up. But okay. you're you're always left with that that what if. So you save the four people. You're hoping that the firefighter comes and is able to save your sibling. What if they don't? I mean, is your is your is your sibling really gonna you know pound down on you for for saving them? No, the, honestly, I think your sibling, whoever sibling it is, they'll be like, oh my god, thank you so much for saving me. I don't exactly. think so. Yes, dude. I don't think so. I you think, think it's understood. No, it's no like, you don't. Do you think? No. But um, okay, closing <laughs> argument. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, everybody say two sentences and okay. this is it. All right, this is a little bit selfish. However, wouldn't you agree? Your life. <laughs> Is more important than any other. To who? Asking me? Anyone. Like I don't think my life is more important than everyone else. <laughs> yeah, but it's your life. Like your life is precious. Would you give up your life for someone else? No. Exactly. <laughs> so But I'm not giving up my life. It's my sibling's life. <laughs> right. I know. I I know. Oh, oh. So Okay, your time is up. <laughs> Think about it this way. It's easier for the firefighters to save one person in the burning building. Yes. And don't you think in the heat of the moment, because you guys are siblings too, you would kind of want your sibling to help the other Okay, time's up. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I think uh, Stephanie and Tiffany won. Yay!
What do you think? What do you think? Honestly. No, you guys made no good <laughs> Okay. Argument. Fine. You're just a hater. Yeah. No. It's oh. over. You guys get uh hey. hot, <laughs> hot topic okay. and you guys get hot wings. Oh, oh. No. I forgot you guys have to eat these hot ones. What? Oh, no. Yeah. How about this one? Okay, grab that. Meanwhile, <laughs> we're going shopping in our little hot topic pile over here. Well, can I get this skirt? I'm so sorry. And then you can <sighs> pick one. It's gonna oh, be so spicy. Pick? Yeah, we each get Man, to pick one. I just realized oh how bad of a debater God. I am. You just realized that? So who wins the fight? Oh, me. Oh, we're matching. Okay, we picked that one. So I got the sketch. She got the BT21. Yeah, I wanted that one. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Uh, this was a, this I was was a hot gonna commodity. Get the skirt. You <laughs> <laughs> Is this spicy? Is that good? Oh, it's not even spicy. Then what the heck? Is it spicy, Dana? It's not that bad. Easy. Though. Mm -hmm. You're red, bro. Debate is not my thing. All right. Not well. your hot topic. <laughs> hot topic. Oh. 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 Yeah, oh. Nice. Ah! All right. Listen. Listen. Yes. Listen. Next one is such a good one. Okay. This one, like, I wish I could debate because I love this. This. God, topic. he wants to okay. debate. Okay. Question is, if you can see the score of how much your partner loves you, oh. would you choose to see it? So, like, you can literally say, "Hey, how? What's the score?" And it says ninety-eight percent. It okay. says fifty percent. Like you can mm -hmm. check as many times as you want, all the time. Would you want to have that ability? Okay. okay Rock paper on. scissor. Rock paper scissor shoot. Yeah. Which one do you like? No, I don't want to see. It. We don't want to see it. Ah, that's a good one. Yeah, oh, I, I wanted to. to I want to pick that yeah. one. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. Life is relationship is about it's ups and downs. And to be like, able yeah. to you see the score, like, it's only human nature. So if you see your score, right? and, and it almost feels more like a game, and still love that. But I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, okay. I'm listening. I'm all yours. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you don't want the only people I feel like want to see the score is when they feel insecure uh, in this relationship. That's why they want to try to see the score. Yes. So when you are in the relationship, you feel the love, then you yeah. don't want them to see. There's no point for you to seeing it. Just by seeing it, if you see find out that your partner is 99 points, then you will be like, oh, where's mm. that one point goes? Okay. Oh. There's no point. Yeah, okay. that's true. Even okay. if it's 99, right. you're going to be questioning that extra one. And then yes. you might be thinking, what if I go out there and find someone who's going to love me 100%? Yes. Yeah. Tell them. Yeah. Oh, okay. so <laughs> wow. I'm uh, sold. Yeah. All right. She, she mentioned that everyone has ups and downs, right? Yes. Even if you know the score, in your mind, you will know that it's okay if it's not 100%. But what if it goes down to no, 20? No, that's okay because at least you know they're feeling down or, or they're, uh, you know, going through something. And you can, like, <laughs> check up on them. Andrew, you gotta save him. You gotta save All him. Right. Let's say your significant other was pregnant. And okay. then you have, you're, you're like, you're like on the fence of, is it my child? Is it not? Right? <laughs> Wait, what? what? Yeah. People do uh, the the test, right? <laughs> they go to the courthouse. They they, they do tests to, to see if it's yes. theirs. Listen, if you knew that your significant other loved you, right, and and you knew the score, you wouldn't even have to deal with all that. that so that just true. saves the DNA test. Yeah, you wouldn't. So have you to save do a like a hundred dollars on a DNA paternity <laughs> test. So you're like, I need to see the score mm -hmm. to save a hundred dollars. How about this? Can I throw okay. you guys one? Maybe on the pregnant woman <laughs> path. Maybe it's a good indicator because you know how sometimes when my sister was pregnant It was a learning curve for him because he didn't know how to like, you know, he's like dang She's asking for a lot, but then I don't know most pregnant people like it's just confusing So maybe if you see her score go down, you're, you're like, them? oh shoot. Yes, because that was whack oh, Yeah, <laughs> like, you're because like, you can alter your behavior Because you're like, oh shoot, oh, red yeah. alarm, red alarm. I'm really messing things up and I don't you can want fix to yes. You can no, fix your relationship. Yes, you you guys are so bad. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, I think seeing the score is bad because love is built on trust, right? <laughs> if my fiance What's so funny? Is love not built on trust? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. not that. It's not that. Okay, that's it. Okay. So, if I would feel really annoyed if my fiance could see my score and he started changing his attitude or his actions based on my score because I would feel like, I don't know. Like, I would always have in the back of my mind, would he still do this if he didn't see my score? Like, it feels more manufactured. It feels less of like, he's doing this because he loves me, but more of like, oh, he's doing this because my score is low today. I need to know who farted. Oh. Oh my, that's tiger, bro. Oh. It's sour. <laughs> sour. <laughs> it's sour. Yeah, so you can't just base your love on a number. Sure it's just a can. random code number. Yeah. It can prove the love, real love. Exactly. Is. 
Okay, well, if you know the score, you can find your soulmate faster. Because when something's wrong, mm -hmm. you can fix things way faster, you yeah. know? And you know what, what to do right next time. And you just become better and better, and your relationship just gets better and better. Done. That's good. Good point. Good point. I think we're pretty evened out right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you guys the final statement time, okay? okay. Everybody gets like 30 seconds. Okay, right. so, a good one. You wanna start on that side? Okay. Yes, Tiffany. Love is like going to college. It's like taking a test. If you find a number, just go straight for that person. Then there's no experience mm. of learning. That's true. You have followers. It's like it's everything like is <laughs> cheating. It's like you're cheating. Find the final answer. Think about Yo, it. With it. today's technology, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, listen. that was pretty good. That with was pretty today's, good. with today's technology, everything has a score. But love is unique, and it doesn't. And it's about the whole journey with that person and sticking through it, even when things get bad. So why does there need to be a score? <laughs> so when you know the score, you know what to work on. It's always better to have that upper hand to know how to improve a relationship or how to improve even a company. You know, just everything's based on a score nowadays. Mm -hmm. Why not have a score for a relationship and know the score to better it? Um, also, humans are complicated, right? I, I've seen a lot of K-dramas, you know? Like, <laughs> there's when you're in love, there's a good lie. You would lie for someone to not hurt their feeling or, mm -hmm. or like yeah. to make them yeah. be... Oh, have yeah. a better yeah. situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you know the score, you will know what's up. I don't get it. So you're on their side? No, <laughs> no, our side. So you want to see the score? Yes. So nobody can even tell why lies? Exactly. But you say why lie is good for a relationship. I know, but you will get to know why they lie. Then you lost the point. No, of when why they lie. if they lie though, you uh -huh. won't know if it's a white lie or a bad lie. No, that's, that's still a lie. I think you just gave them points. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, Which so, whose argument? <laughs> Be honest. No! Y'all's argument with brother just because... Biased! <laughs> so, uh, officially, Stephanie and Tiffany Wong. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Ah! Guess what? Uh, what? They don't get to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? They get hot topics. You want some, you want some? Oh, yes! Uh, White? She's minutes. doing the lip don't scrub. Think. Lip scrub? The lip scrub. Oh. oh right now. Yeah, what's going on? Oh. Kais, come on. Don't Ooh, be. <gasps> That's a huge bite. Honey, can you pour them some milk, Curry? Hold on, give them some time. Oh They're, my god. They haven't even tasted it yet. <laughs> Why give them time to look her? Bro. Thank you. Oh man. Oh. 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 I can oh. feel the internal sweat starting to come. Wow. Ooh, don't cry. Well, I can see his nose sweat glands starting to work over time. You dun, know dun. that means it's spicy. Yeah, whenever his nose is sweating, I know it means oh it's spicy. Well, it looks like we're just gonna win all the hot I topic. Know. And <laughs> what's funny is you yeah. guys picked the side. <laughs> yeah! I would be a bad lawyer. Because uh, when once they started making sense, I was like, wait, whose side am I on? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, in life that's better though. I guess. Because you're not stuck in your ways. You're yeah, like, so you, you don't know. need to know much. Yeah. Are you yeah. okay that now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Do you keep God. eating it? Is that good? I'm Andrew, hungry. you finished it? <gasps> you don't have to eat the whole thing. You're I don't want you to. Yeah, I'm done. All right, give us the next one. Oh, man. Come on, guys. If you can see someone else's time of death and how they're going to die in the future, yes. would you tell them? Okay, Kai Vaibo, you and Opa. Kai Vaibo. Oh, yes! Oh, okay, gosh. Should we give them a chance? Oh, yeah, you guys choose. We'll give you guys uh -huh. the chance. You guys choose. No, really. We don't need your pity. Just no, take it. Okay. Take the pity. <laughs> I would not tell them. Okay. Okay. Good choice. Okay. And you guys say you will tell them. Yeah. Dang okay. it. Right. Dang it. Right. Okay. You guys want to start. Think about it. Think about yeah. it first. Yeah. Okay. I have one. Already? I don't want to tell them. Mm -hmm. Because if I do tell them, all they're going to think about in their life the yes. whole time, they're going to think about their mm -hmm. death. They're going to be traumatized. They're going to be anxious. Okay. <laughs> I disagree. Because people take life for granted. So right now, I probably don't spend as much time as I should with my own parents or my grandparents, right? But if you told me definitively I'm going to die in two years, you bet everything I own that I'm going to live life differently. But A whole lot differently. But they tell me. I wouldn't want to tell them. Yeah. yeah. What if the person didn't believe me, right? Uh-huh. Oh, that's then, good. That's, that's a good one. That's then good. I start I looking like a, like a hater or... or yeah. Or, mm, I like that. You know, like... That's I, good. It's like I'm, I'm, a, I'm 
trying to make them feel some type of way or I'm going against them and I want to make them feel oh. like okay. traumatized or whatever, mm-hmm. you know? Go on, go on. I wouldn't want all that. Why? Right, good, there you go. But wouldn't okay. it be your moral okay, obligation? Make your, make your argument. Every person has rights to know their life. It's their own business. It belongs to them. This, their, okay. That's their things. You can't just like know the truth you don't tell them. Yeah. It belongs to you. But, it belongs to you. You would that's feel guilt also. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good point. You would feel guilt not telling them. That's their life. They need to know. They yeah. have the rights to know. So you would tell them they can be mad at you, but you did what you needed to do. Oh, right? so far this is good. Yeah. I like where this is going. Okay. But, 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 but the like whole point, argument. Yeah, but the whole point of life is it's mysterious. You don't know your death. Okay. No one knows except but, that for okay, one person. Okay, let him make his Okay. Thing. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the debate. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So, you gotta so what's live your, it what's your, what's your, it. Wait, 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 what's your argument? I believe you should know, you should, no one should know their fate. Like, why? Because it's life. That's what life is. You think it's better? Yeah, you just, you just, it's life. Well, I get that. So, yes, okay, yes. I get it. So then his point is life is about the unknown. Mm-hmm. It's right. about living your yeah. life, like going through the journey. Right, the unknown. right. Okay. Okay, so, but think of it this way, right? Mm-hmm. What if you had three months to live and I told you that? And, okay, and I didn't tell you that until the day before you die. I'm like, oops, I forgot to tell you because I didn't want you to be stressed, but would, you're going to die tomorrow. I would have been like, you know, I would, I think I would have really? rather lived not knowing But then, okay, think about it. and be nervous and, and anxious. But how many hours a week do you work? Wouldn't you much have rather spent that time with Sophie and your pregnant wife? But I tell you last minute and you're like, wow. Yeah, you Why can. did I just go to I work? Feel like and... All Stephanie's statement is all like emotion based. <laughs> Sorry, like, I'm okay. an emotional so person. Okay. It's all based on her own emotion. Okay, but yeah. So, you so here's the thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so listen. If you had told me yes. three, three months prior, right? Yes. Yeah, I would have probably quit my job and yeah. spent the yeah. last few days with my family and all. Yeah. But. How emotional and how much of a wreck do you think my household would have been during those three months? Mm -hmm. Versus me not knowing, going to work and whatever. (laughs) And, Mm -hmm. you know, everything's normal. Everything's cool. We even laughed and joked in between those three months. You know, it was a a good ending. Making me tear up, man. You know? (laughs) (laughs) So good. Kind of a good Can I get my shirt? Uh, Okay. (laughs) Final statement. Final statement. Ah! Let's go. Let's go. They nervous now. Okay. They nervous now. Okay. I feel like everyone is the first point I said. I feel like to face death is important. Yes. Everyone end up death. So once they find out the day, they will save more time to do the right thing or it might change their life. Mm-hmm. Spend like, time not with even family. life with family too. Changes family too. That vacation you've been dying to go on. Okay. Go do it. See the world. So, yeah. Never okay. regrets when they yeah. die. I mean, everyone are, are going okay, to face okay. the death. Final statement. I like it. It's just better not to know. So, okay. Well, here's the thing. What? If you are dying, would you tell your family? Oh, yeah. Family? Right. If I know I my can't death, hide it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Or, yeah, exactly. Then what about your family about to die? Then would you tell your family you got something? I could not. I would literally pick up the phone, face to my sister and go, Oh, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally in that voice. Okay, Cindy. Yes. Who do you choose? Oh, it's tough. Oh. Who had a better argument? <laughs> I don't know. I think for this one, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, ha ha. But I think they're getting better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can give them. Yeah. Okay. 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 You guys want. <laughs> Do you want the Star Wars crew neck or the pajama pants? Yeah. Well, since he was the leader, yeah, I'm gonna let you, you choose first. No, I'm gonna let you choose because you uh, kind of carry. Uh, yeah. Aww. Aww. What is this? I'll take the Star Wars. Okay. okay. I don't think you'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'll take the. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, cute. And then, Denda, you want the pajama or the BT? Can we you steal? Want can we steal or not? Yeah, you can steal. You can steal. Oh, steal. You oh. oh. Hey, but if you win, you can steal it back. Yeah, I will always steal it So that do you back. want the Star Wars or the BT20? <laughs> so do we have to, can we take this one since you guys took this one the first time you lost? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you lose, we'll lose the second time. My <laughs> Which star chopper. we'll never have. Yeah, come on. <laughs> A good bite though, you know. Mmm, not bad. Mm. Let's go. All right, are you guys ready for the final oh, question? Yeah. This one is really fun though. This one, I think it's good for you guys to just be creative. One day you're walking in the woods and you come across a suitcase with a million dollar inside. You open it up, enclosed is a note that says, don't. 
Or just still take it. We'll let yeah. you guys choose. Yeah. I'm, I'm the, the worst rock, paper, scissors. Me too. No, 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 no choose. Uh, oh, choose. No. Okay, we won't take it. <laughs> we won't take you it. You won't take it. You we won't. will not. I will not take it. Why won't we take it? It's a million dollars. <laughs> 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 Very important thing. They won't take it. This yeah. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We starting? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead. First thing we need to know, this is unknown money. It mm -hmm. could be illegal. It could get you in trouble, like worst, mm -hmm. biggest trouble ever in your life. Mm -hmm. And it can hurt your life because of that money. Well, yeah, what if it's counterfeit and you end up in prison? Don't yeah. can mean a lot of things. Don't <laughs> can mean don't be a fool. Ah. Don't hesitate. Ah. Take the money and run. Ah. <laughs> okay? Oh, that was good. 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 Who would leave that there, right? It, it could be a crime money. Okay, but who's gonna leave a note that says don't if it's huh, huh, huh. one okay. argument, next okay. argument. A victim of organized crime. So listen, someone put it in the woods and they left a letter, don't. So let's say this money belongs to organized crime. The minute that you take it, you got a whole crime mafia after you. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for a whole crime mafia to come after okay, you? Okay, but that one scenario that you mentioned, yeah. it's just the one Factor like there can be multiple various yeah, multiple factors. mafias after you and I believe life is about risk And uh, if there's a million dollar take a risk. Okay, you're talking about life about risk. Okay life is more about morality You mm. could feel guilty guilty for your guilty of what? Okay. okay, you guilty know why because it could be what if it's someone using the money to save a other person's life But it you don't know that though. saving money. You don't know that mm. But it says don't. It means like, and second thing, people never should never ever take stuff not belongs to you. So Tiffany's going down the moral route. Yeah. Okay. She's saying that if you're a good person, you shouldn't take it. But okay. How, okay. How do you know that money belongs to that owner? What if that owner stole that money well, from someone else? Well, it still doesn't belong to you. Mm -hmm. Huh? It still doesn't belong to you. You shouldn't have this money. Oh my gosh, it's so... <laughs> Wait, I'm so sorry. It does belong to me. I'm so sorry. What, finders keepers? Finders keepers. <laughs> finders keepers? Yeah, so I found the money. Huh. It's mine. It's so, not a good argument. Okay. What, no, hold on. What difference is it if I find a million dollars or if I find 25 cents? You should return the 25 cents. <laughs> no, what if I find 25 cents? Are you really going to what? take that to the police? 25 okay. cents? They're going to say, dude, just keep it. Okay, what if someone had already found that money? They took it, right? Think about this. They take the one million dollars and their life becomes a living craziness. If I'm on Stephanie's side, I would say, imagine this is real. You're walking in the woods and you see a suitcase with a with million dollars. And then a note says, don't. Is this the most sketchy thing you've ever experienced in your life? Yes. Would you take it? It could be a trap from the police. It could be all sorts of things. There's yeah. no reason this would be... If it's too good to be true, then it's most likely likely too good to be true. If I'm someone to think about the consequences, I would not take a million dollar yeah. chilling in the woods. Because mm -hmm. I don't know sense. what's going to happen to me. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. It's illegal. But okay. It's not even illegal. I don't know what's going to happen. And yeah. I don't want to take that risk. And then it's so sketchy. Like, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we got a <laughs> debate, you know? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I, I agree with them, but... <laughs> I just have to debate. And then this. you would live in anxiety even if nothing bad happens to you for the rest of your life. Yeah, life is not yeah, exactly. just about money. Money right. can just That's take your the life. Yeah. And every small thing that happens, you might be like, is this, does this have to do with the money? So far, there, Stephanie's winning. You guys got any better arguments? <laughs> you can't win this one. <laughs> <laughs> how Cindy feels. How would you feel if he came home and was like, guess what, babe? I saw this in the woods with the letter don't and I didn't bring home a million dollars. I love yeah. No, I would be more worried if you took it. Oh yeah. yeah. Then I wouldn't be able to sleep. Oh, if you brought home a million dollar and yeah. say it was in the woods yeah. with a note that says don't on yeah. there, I'm like, all right, here we go. Yeah, oh, my huh. sell this house and move out. Yeah, we gotta move yeah. out of the country right yeah. now. With a million dollars. You can't move out yes, of the country. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you guys have any more arguments? I thought you guys liked this. Yeah, option. I thought you guys were like, like, yes, yeah. No, we wanted your option. <laughs> Oh, I, I, really? I, was I was a little confused. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, you okay. You help them, help us. Okay, so my argument is I would take it because I would say if, if I'm going out there, right, with a million dollar cash, for security, I would throw a note like that inside just to throw people off. If somebody else took my money and then they open it, they see don't, they get freaked out. They, they will get their reaction, right? So it's this is like my insurance policy. 
on the money. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with the money. It's still a box of cash with a no don't. The money is real. It's just a piece of paper. Nobody's around in the woods. Nobody's gonna know. Like li- literally, there's no camera. I checked. There's no camera. There's nothing. Nothing's gonna trace this money back to me. Just a no don't. And the no don't only means somebody throw it in. As, like yeah, like an insurance co- policy, like a psychology insurance. So I will take the money. Yeah, probably leave the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if one of these Don't mothers, of if one of these people go out of the country abruptly, you know what they did in the woods, okay? <laughs> so somebody call the IRS, call nine one one, because something went down. Okay, so um, Cindy, well, so who made a better argument here? With my help. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Stephanie and Tiffany. Uh, <laughs> the the Iphanies! <laughs> That's our name, Stephanie and Tiffany, the Iphanies. Yeah. Like Iphanies! What's your name? Oh, our name? Dan Juice. Oh, I'm Korean. Hey, hey, their name is Dan Juice. Dan, Dan Juice. Juice. No, but Dan Juice. Dan Juice. <laughs> Ipani sounds like Ipani, which means pretty girl in Korean. Oh, so Dan it's like sounds like uh, Dandru. <laughs> it sounds Dan- like Dandruff. Dandruff. <laughs> um, I guess uh, you guys, if any, win. Oh, Ipani! Halloween, Halloween. <laughs> you guys get Halloween, we get hot topics. Okay? Hot wings for Dan- hot topics. Okay, just take one small bite each. Okay, one bite. Oh my god. One <laughs> bite. Wow, guys, why wow, is your muscles shaking <laughs> for bending apart the she, he said? <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm. You know what would have been better than eating the hot wings for the hot topics? Is actually just winning Hot Topic. <laughs> so make sure to check out Hot Topic at your local stores or go to hottopic.com. Click the link in my description. They've got so many amazing things. Seriously, go click the link. We need to go give them some milk. And thanks again to Hot Topic for sponsoring today's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's story. Leave it in the comments. What were your positions on every single debate? I want to know because I feel like we had some basic intelligence going on, but I'm always amazed at how like thorough people are in the comments. Yeah. Like, list out them bullet points because I freaking love reading stuff like that and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!